All right, we're back here for another day with the Corvette, so let's show you what we got done. We are almost entirely complete with the fuel system now. So we have this little overflow catch cup installed. We've got the, uh, the drain line, which will eventually run through the body itself. Um, we've got one little clip here that goes on the flex line that goes between the hard line here and the uh, descending unit at the bottom of the tank. So we'll be running that here shortly. But the hard line is installed all the way. Got our little Teflon bushing in there. We've got this running down. We've got all of our clips in. Everything all the way to the front is looking good. And uh, basically that was kind of the first project of today and it's all looking nice. The straps are all holding it in place great. So then we moved on to the 427 and we removed this guy. And we removed that because we installed this guy. It's beautiful billet flywheel. So you have that all bolted on and torqued up to spec. We also have our pilot bearing in. So next up, we've got to deal with our clutch disc and pressure plate. And uh, I guess uh, from there, we'll be looking at maybe getting this guy installed in the actual chassis itself. All right, quick catch up, but we have the motor sitting in the chassis. So James has the clutch disc in with the alignment tool. And next up is the pressure plate. So we'll be installing that right now. And we officially have the car on the ground with the engine and transmission in place. It looks absolutely fantastic in there. And as you can tell, that is a serious piece of equipment. I don't think anyone would be disappointed with a five-speed big block Corvette. So we have a little bit more to do. We've got to get the correct uh, transmission mount. Uh, the one we have just wasn't quite right for that. So we got that to figure out and a couple other small bits and pieces as far as torquing some last parts down. But essentially we have this thing pretty much ready to rock. Once the trans is mounted properly, we can install the drive shaft and this thing is pretty much ready to have the body dropped back on it. Then we'll probably be getting it back to do some last little finishing work on it. And at that point, this thing will be one fire breathing monster. All right, so if you guys have been enjoying this build series as much as we have, take two seconds, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us grow the channel. Plus, that'll uh, give you a chance to actually see the next video that's coming out. If you really want to see the next video that's coming out, hit the little notification button too. That way it'll actually let you know when the video comes out. And of course, hit that like button that tells people this is good content, that uh, other people might want to see this cool Corvette stuff. Uh, and of course, it helps the algorithm, you know, push it out to other Corvette enthusiasts. So. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you guys following along with this series. That's going to wrap it for today. But until then, catch you on the next one.